Welcome back to the show. My next guest is a triple threat. Singer, songwriter, actress. Really excited to have her because she's got her CD EP release coming up. We'll give you the details in just a moment. But first off, let me introduce you to Steph La Rochelle. Welcome to the show, Steph. Thanks Great to so have much you for here. having me. Um, let's first of all uh, introduce you to our to our viewers. They've, they've never met you before. Tell us a little bit about sort of your, your, your musical and your, your acting journey so far. Yeah, so I'm uh, Ottawa-based, born and raised out, out in uh, Greeley, actually. Okay, nice. um, And I grew up singing all the time. I did a lot of community theater, all that good stuff. Um, right after high school, I was on a reality show called Over the Rainbow. So it was a search for, for the next Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Okay. Um, and that sort of opened up some doors for me, and um, I started working a little bit in TV and film. And... Um, just recently, I was uh, on the North American tour of Dear Evan Hansen, a yeah. Broadway musical. Yeah. Tell me about that. How did that role come to be? Yeah, so I hadn't actually done a ton of professional theater, and I was sort of focused on music at that okay. time. And okay. the audition came through, and um, it was a it was a long audition process. Really? Um, I, th I think I did a few tapes, um, a few auditions in Toronto, and then there was a, a final callback in New York, actually, in front of a panel of 20 people um so that was i've done auditions no, nothing even close to that and I, i'm like i'm feeling your stress <laughs> yeah. coming through right now what was that like yeah so so that was a, a wild journey um I, I was first a part of the uh toronto production there was okay. a first international production was in toronto um and then when that closed there happened to be some room on the tour and i, I hopped on the tour and it it was just one of the greatest journeys of my life, just such an adventure, such a great experience, yeah. A part of that experience was you're in Nashville, mm -hmm. and you get to go to the Bluebird, and for people that don't know the Bluebird, I mean, this is this is a big deal. Maybe you can explain why, I mean, as a, as a singer, songwriter. The Bluebird is um, a cafe in Nashville. There's so much history there. All of the greats have, have passed through there. Um, it's it's just so rich with history, and such a, th that was a highlight of my career, to, to really? step in there and do that. Um, and it's funny, the, the Ottawa um, Ottawa venue where I'm hosting my EP release is called the Redbird. Red, yeah, that's right, which is a, a great venue, the Redbird Live. Yeah, it's um, you know, speaking of the Bluebird, we actually have a clip of you singing um, Only Us, which is uh, original from, from Dear Evan Hansen. So we're going to throw that and we'll come back and, and chat with you in just a sec. Have a look at this. I don't need you to sell me on reasons to want you. Proof that I should. You don't have to convince me. You don't have to be scared. You're not enough. Cause what we've got going is good. I don't need more reminders of all that's been broken. What I'd rather forget Clear the slate and start over Try to quiet the noises in your head We can't compete with all that well, we had to play that because we had to give people an example of your beautiful voice, and you, you do have a beautiful voice. Let's Thank move you. on to the to the album. This is your your debut album, debut right? AP. Yeah, that's and it's right. Called, it's called Wildflower. Tell me a little bit of you know what what inspired some of the songwriting on the album. Yeah, so I mean, the album has your classic uh, breakup songs and love yeah. songs and all that good stuff. Um, the title track, Wildflower, sort of inspires self reflection. Um, I think at its core, the album is just really about finding your way through love and life. And what about your writing process? Do you write on your own? Do you team up with somebody? What's that been like? All of these songs um, are self penned, so I, I wrote them all on my own. Um, some of them I've had in my back pocket for a while, uh, a few years, and Timing was just never right, so I'm, I'm really excited to finally have people hear them. What was it like in, in studio? I know, you know, I can just see from that 
I, I think most artists love performing in front of a, an audience, right? Because there's that sort of immediate reaction that you get from an uh, from an audience. I just from from your facial expression, you're like, yes, that's mm -hmm. what I love to do. What was it like in in studio, though? It's a it's a different world in studio. I love both of it. It's really exciting to step in there and get to. I worked with a producer in Toronto, Murray Daigle, and. Uh, some incredible musicians and it's 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 fun to get in there and sort of play around and, and see what sticks and um, it's just really really just a really creative process and a ton of fun yeah did you grow up with with music and in, in theater was that part of your you know your family life like where did that inspiration come from I I've always um, I've I've always loved music I it's so corny to say but I really was singing before I could speak um, really? uh, and my dad always had had great music on in the house um, you know he would play the classic female vocalist Whitney and Mar okay. Mariah Celine and Barbara all that good stuff um, but he, he also always had super tramp or the Eagles like really classic great music playing nice. so that was um, something that influenced me early on and then I was in love with movie musicals um, really eh? I think I, I wore out the VHS of Annie because <laughs> I watched it too many times nice uh, what about future projects you know when you look uh, down the line what, what are you working on right now yeah, so I'm gonna ride this uh, this EP for a while, and uh, I've got a, a release show um, at the Redbird this Saturday, mm -hmm. um, which is very exciting. Um, working on a couple music videos for the album, so okay. I'd say stay tuned for that. That's uh, that's really. And do you do you see yourself? I mean, obviously the CD release is where all your concentration is is going right now, but can you see yourself doing a mini tour with the with the EP? Absolutely, yeah. Um, planning a couple shows, maybe Toronto, Stratford area. Um, maybe I do have a, a lot of uh, friends out in New York, so it might be cool really? to do a little uh, a little show there too. But um, that's as far as on the acting side of things, auditions, uh, I imagine you're going to still focus on on that as part of your career as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, nothing in the works at the moment, but uh, that's that's always. That's always something that something that comes through those auditions and working on that stuff. So. Well, people can find you online as well, right? You're on you're on social media. You've got a website. To share that information with our viewers. Absolutely, yeah. You can find me and all my social media info at stephlarachelle.com. Perfect timing. It just came up underneath you. I just <laughs> I saw it on that. the monitor. Thanks for joining us, Thanks Steph. So much really for appreciate me. it. We'll be back with more daytime Ottawa right after this.